hi what's going on my name is Anant and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your email accounts with sendmaze.io so there are different kind of SMTP servers that you can integrate with sendmaze.io and I'm just going to quickly show you that so head over to sending and click on sending servers once you click there you will see an interface to connect your existing SMTP server and one of the best part about SendMails is you can connect as many SMTP servers you want. So here you can see I've already connected a SMTP server called as Amazon SES. If I open this SES server, let me just quickly show you that. So all I need to do is fill in my host name, username, password, SMTP port and the encryption method. Let me just go back and quickly connect one new SMTP server for you. So wh when I click here, I will get an option to integrate Amazon SES with two options. Either I can choose Web Service API or SMTP. And the same goes for SendGrid, Mailgun, Elastic Mail, Spark Post. Or if you, if you have a custom SMTP servers that you got from a hosting provider or you have hosted your own private SMTP server, then you can connect that with this SMTP option over here. So let me just choose SMTP and you will get a form like this. Now, if you have purchased a business email from GoDaddy, Hostinger or any other email provider and they have given you SMTP credentials, you can connect that with sendmaze.io as well, but you will have to check their email sending uh, terms and conditions as well. So these are the values that I'm supposed to fill in host name, username, password, port and SMTP encryption type. For example, I purchased a domain and hosting from hostinger.com. So if I go to hostinger.com, I get an option called configuration settings. So if I go here, I will get all my values over here. So this is the SMTP server host name, port or SSL. Now, if I want to get the same values for GoDaddy, what I can do is I will make a Google search as GoDaddy SMTP settings. That's it. Once you search for that, you will get the SMTP port, security, username, password. So your username and password in case of your hosting account, it will always going to be your email account and your password. So in this case, my host name is going to be Hostinger's SMTP host name. So I'll go to Hostinger and I'll copy this over here and I'll put it over here. Now I need to copy the port so I can just copy it from here and I can paste it over here. Now this is SSL slash TLS. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put it over here. Now either I can choose SSL or TLS or I can choose both. So let me just do a quick trial with SSL. Now I'm going to put my username. So here in the case of hosting provider, my username is going to be my login credentials. Here I'll put my password and that's it. I'm going to click on save. Now if everything is correct, it is going to show you active. If there is any problem connecting with your SMTP server, it is going to give you that message. If you want to test whether your server is working fine or not, click on send a test email. Then this is where you can send an email to yourself. Now, just like that, you can search for SMTP settings of any other provider out there, whether it is Amazon SES, GoDaddy or any other SMTP server. So just connect your own SMTP server and then verify your domain because when you're sending emails, you want to send emails through a verified domain. So since I've only verified sendmaze.io, I will only be able to send emails from sendmaze.io. Now, if I want to verify another domain, I'll have to click on plus new sending domain. And this is where I will put my domain name. So how can I do that? Very quickly, I'm going to put the domain name over here. And that's it. I will save it. And these are the values that I'm going to get over here. So now here you will have to copy this value and paste it inside your DNS record. So if you've purchased domain from any provider, whether it is GoDaddy, Hostinger, you just need to search for your DNS configuration. How do you do it? Let me just quickly show you that. I'll go over here. And then what I need to do is I search 
for DNS. Look at this. I'm getting the DNS zone editor and this is where I need to add these records. So I'll just be copying this part and since it is a txt record as you can see the type is txt i will have to create a txt record over here i'm going to go over here and create a txt record i will keep the name as emarketing and the value is what i'm going to copy from here and paste it over here so control v and click on add record that's it so that's how you have added your dns record now one more record you need to copy from here and paste it over here. So based on whatever domain provider you have chosen, it's going to take some time to verify. But once it is verified, you can click on verify now. As you can see, it is still pending, but it will take nearly 24 hours to propagate all your changes in your DNS record. So you can always come back and click on verify now to verify both of your records. Once it is done, your sending domain is good to go. It will be connected with sendmaze.io. Now, the last thing you'll have to do is connect your custom tracking domain so that instead of using sendmaze.io tracking domain, you are using your own domain to track the open in clicks. This is very simple. Again, just click on create tracking domain and just choose DNS. This is where you will be choosing HTTPS and I'm going to add it as track dot whatever is your domain name. So my domain name is copysuggest.com. I'm going to put it over here and then click on save. That's it. Now just click on track dot copysuggest.com, which is your domain. And you will have to copy this value and paste it on your DNS zone editor. So I'm going to copy this track from here. Copy this, go back to DNS zone editor and create a C name called track and the value is going to be app.sendmaze.io so i'm going to copy this and i will paste it over here and that's it i've just added my record now i i want to test it i will click on test and i'll click on proceed if this track.copysuggest.com is opening sendmaze.io interface for you it means you are connected with sendmaze.io custom tracking domain uh, that is it for this video i will see you in the next one